In this video, I want to show you how to open, use Excel, and also how to download it. And look, the beauty of today's video is everything I'm going to show you as a Linwood student is completely free. Let's get into it. First thing you want to do is let's go to the Lindenwood website. You can do so pretty quickly here. Here at Lindenwood website, up at the tippy top, you should see a portals icon. I want to scroll down and click on the Office 365 button. Once you do that, your new page should load. You might need to scroll down a bit more and you'll see oop, just behind me, Office 365. Let's get into it, access. This is going to prompt you to log in. Hey, that's me. Oh, pretend you don't see. And then, uh, of course, I want to stay signed in. Once I'm in here, there's actually an option to install. I'll show you in a minute. But before I do that, I want to show you first how to open Excel. Beauty of being a Linwood student is you have access to Excel no matter where you are through a browser. I'm on a PC, but your experience should be similar if you're on a more expensive machine, say maybe a Mac. If you hit that little button up at the tippy top here, you see these are all the Microsoft products you have access to. There's OneDrive. This is probably where your files are located. I want to go to Excel. So this is the app experience, but through a browser. It's a little slower, but certainly free and easy to access. I want to open up a blank workbook just to show you what this looks like. So here are all my cells that we've seen before. I'm going to zoom in a bit more. Ooh, there we are. And I can do little calculations like 15 plus 7. Although, uh-oh, I think there's something wrong with that calculation. If you're wondering what it was, hey, make sure you always forget, always remember your equal sign. Never forget it. And boom, there you go. It'll get your calculations. No problem. And just like the app, hey, look, there's us typing in the cell references as well. So everything's here on this browser version, but I still wouldn't necessarily recommend using it. It's a little bit slower and also saving and keeping your works a bit tougher as well. So instead, I'll show you the second method, the downloading Excel. How can you download Excel? If you hit that button up at the tippy top again, and this time you want to go over and hit Office 365. Um, controversially enough, this will bring you back to that home page that we started with. Here's how you can install apps over on the right-hand side. If you click that, you can either just install all the apps or you can install with some other options. This is usually like if you don't want to necessarily install everything view apps and devices. As a little side note to you, again, you have access to a couple copies of these, depending if you have multiple machines, either on PCs or Macs, tablets, and also on smartphones. Excel on the phone does work. It's not a great experience, but certainly it's something that you can use if you'd like. I want you to click Install Office. Your computer then should automatically download. Let me see if I can get out of the way here. Yo, there we go. Should download Office Setup.exe. Exe stands for Executable File. You can click that. Some of you may need to double click and you should hit yes. Let's get into the installation. So now the installation part has begun. You can walk through those instructions and install it on your personal machine. So to wrap up, you can use Excel in the browser. Again, completely free for Linwood student. Just make sure you hit that Office 365 and scroll over, hit Excel. Look, if you like the video, I appreciate the time that you put into it. If you don't, I apologize for the rest of us. I'll see you in the next one.